Hello brothers and sisters, the WEF elites now admit the potential for a darker world where CBDCs will be government controlled. How's that for fun? Programmability is a key feature of CBDCs where governments, banks and their customers could have total control over when, where and how your money is spent. Governments can program CBDCs, central bank digital currencies, with expiry dates and restrict undesirable purchases according to a discussion at the WEF Summit Davos in China. So they pay you, say, $2,000 for services rendered or for your job or whatever. They put an expiry date of it within one week and then they also tell you what you can't buy. You can't buy Bibles, you can't support ministries. You can't buy too much meat to have a quota. You can't do this. You can't do that. But you better spend it quickly on the things that we want you to buy. Otherwise, it expires and your money's gone and you don't have a leg to stand on. You see the control mechanism here and you can't go withdraw it and keep it safe. No, it stays where it stays. On Wednesday at the WEF's 14th annual meeting of new champions, Summit Davos in China, Cornell University professor Eswar Prasad said that we are at the cusp of physical currency disappearing. Programmable CBDCs will take us either to a better or a much darker place. Heads up, darker place. Right? I have my money on that one. Trust me on this one. I know I cheated. I looked at the Bible and they already told me what's happening. You could have a potentially better, not going to happen, or some might say a darker world. Yes, going to happen. Where the government decides that units of CBDC money can be used to purchase some things, but not other things it deems less desirable, like ammunition drugs or anything else they don't like and that is very powerful in terms of the use of a cbdc and i think extremely dangerous to central banks i'm glad he sees it it's sad that he still thinks that there's a hope for it being used for good even if we weren't reading the bible and revelations and ezekiel and daniel and all these books that tell us exactly what's going to happen in the next few years even if we didn't, even if we just looked at mankind's track record. If you were an alien species, if they're out there and they're not Nephilim and you went past Earth, you'd lock your doors and go silent because we are twisted in our history and what we're capable of. Seriously. But balancing it against the word of God, we know for a fact where this is going. And it's not just darker, it's to the depths of hell what's lying ahead for mankind in this final final week on the final final part of the end of the edge of the timeline given to man and i for one am glad that i get to skip out the final little bump in the timeline and spend time with my savior as are you if you are with jesus god bless keep looking up shalom